Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris. This is my wife, Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin here on YouTube and Instagram. And today we have a what's old video for you guys uh, for what's old over the weekend. Um, we're starting this one off kind of out on the road. We, uh, we found a new supplier for some boxes. Uh, we've been kind of looking around um, and we just haven't really gotten a, a thing locked down. You know, we can always buy things on eBay, um, but that's kind of expensive when you don't have the coupon. Yeah. Um, and we, you know, we do get some free boxes from my parents or neighbors and stuff like that, but there's always like this in between where it's, yeah. we're always either looking for the right box or we don't have the right box. Um, but anyway, we came to uh, a place called Granger. I can't get a really good shot of the, uh, sign there, but, um, Kathy had mentioned that um, Lonnie and Candace over at Shed Flips had mentioned uh, Granger. I don't know how long. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> We've been meaning to come over here for a while. Um, but when I used to work in uh, maintenance at like school districts and stuff, Granger was actually a supplier that I dealt with a lot. And I just never really thought about it for packing supplies. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when she said that, I was like, oh, that kind of makes sense. So um, last night or a couple nights ago, we got on the site and found out that they have some good size boxes and um, we'll see for shoes um i've noticed this year like the shipping prices have kind of changed which honestly it feels it honestly seems better than it was like mm -hmm. um at least for ground advantage so now that you can ground advantage used to be like the first class but now you can do over a pound and yeah. that's like a way better deal than yeah even last year when they first started it it's so most like two pound rates which is most shoes are going in the seven dollar range versus if i use the free priority box ship priority it's like usually closer to nine bucks so yeah even though we're gonna pay for a box which i didn't want to do <laughs> um the boxes are what fit between 50 cents to a dollar yeah piece. i think we got 50 boxes and it's just it's like 45 dollars. i think is what's gonna cost so we haven't gone in yet we gotta so, go get this them, is but... a small order like we could probably get that price down if we kind of wanted to check it out yeah before we place too big of an order but yeah i've noticed lately i've been running out of the boxes we get from friends and family because yeah. i've been using a lot of ground advantage so yeah, yeah. so obviously this video is not sponsored or anything by <laughs> granger and we haven't even tried them out yet but we figured we'd let you guys know show you uh the quality of the boxes and all that but uh let's go in and get them and it is lunchtime we're gonna get some lunch and then head over to the storage unit. I don't know. Maybe we'll pull up a couple boxes out just to show the quality while we're there. Okay. We'll see. We'll see you guys <laughs> over at the storage unit. All right, guys. So we're now at the storage unit. We got lunch. Had some witch witch. witch, witch. It's been a while <laughs> since we've had that. I don't know. That's you... probably the second why. time I've had it. <laughs> it wasn't that great. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It might just be ours. But the two times that I've been to that one, it's just has not been great. So. Um, and yeah, we did get the boxes. I was gonna bring them in here, but I forgot, but I'll talk about them. <laughs> and I'll show you a little bit of what they look like. They look like boxes, they <laughs> as you like, can see. Honestly, they look like the eBay boxes without yeah. the eBay logo on them. So. Yeah, and I'll, I, I'll put the specifics of the boxes that we got, maybe the Granger number, so you can see what we got, but comparable to like the shoe box size and much better quality than like a uh, USPS shoe box. Oh. <laughs> Those are very thin walled. Yeah. Or even just like a recycled Amazon box. That yeah, nice. recycled Amazon boxes kind of get beat up, but yeah. yeah. Overall, I'm happy with what we got and I'm sure we're gonna do a bigger yeah. order there soon. Um, probably get a list of some standardized boxes that we'll use. Yeah. If any of you are interested in the boxes that we end up use, uh, choosing for that, let us know. I'll send you some numbers, but uh, yeah. We have a sale that kind of came up yes. while we were doing our stuff in the morning. Um, EG. EG. It's on this side here. What do we got? Um, yellow Let's see. All right. So these sold for twenty three eighteen plus shipping on eBay. I got these at Once Upon a Child. Pretty much one hundred percent with the credit I got from taking items to them. So uh, yeah. out of pocket, maybe like two three bucks, but okay. Two three into twenty three, not too bad. Yeah. All right, everything else should be organized. We're starting at the hats today. Yeah, and this is from the weekend, so we've yeah. got like about 40 things to pull. Yeah. So Kathy's gonna go a little bit faster. And by 40 things, then... some of them are pretty good. <laughs> a lot of them are <laughs> gonna be like this, which honestly, I'm just happy to move stuff, get yeah. initial cost of goods and a few dollars profit. So like this mini hat came from the bins. I don't think I looked up a comp when I bought it. I was thinking at least 10 bucks, but yeah. When I did list it, the comps weren't even 10 bucks. So mm. I listed it low and then sent an offer on Posh $7 with discount shipping. So I'm probably making like $2 profit, if anything. Okay. Yeah, we moved it. 
someone's getting Move a cute it. mini hat. Saved Minnie Mouse yeah. for two bucks. And this one, I don't know why am I allowed to show this one? <laughs> I'll blurp it out. <laughs> I won't say what it is. Just don't move it around too much so I can make um, it easy on me. <laughs> I don't know. It was yeah. just in a really good shape hat. Cool, yeah. like, chucker style. I, I thought it was... I thought somebody would want it, and they did. It didn't take <laughs> too super long to sell, but I sold it kind of low, I think. So I couldn't list it on eBay. When I went to list it on eBay, it, it like, gave me a no. But it said, if you do this, you could list it. But yeah. I don't want to go through all the hoops to do that. So I only listed it on Posh and sold it for 11 with discount shipping. So yeah. probably could have got more if I wanted to go through a little bit of hoops, which I didn't. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, just some profanity on it. I would probably pass on it if I saw it at the bins again, but. A-holes live forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't, okay. Put that in. I was like, I thought I separated, but that was at F-Box, which we're not on the oh. yet. We're at BC. Some Bionic. Uh, these ones I actually picked up recently but at a regular Goodwill for $5.99 and they sold for $35 with discount shipping on Posh. Uh, a lot of Bionics have went way down in comps. Um, mm -hmm. I did look up this specific model when I bought them. I always mention like the, the shoes with like the open back, kind of like a slip on. Seemed to do well and mm -hmm. this particular Bionic was doing well. I think I could have even got like $40 if I held out but very happy to move those pretty quick. All right, CF. Got some Crocs from the bins. It's like a ballet flat style with the slip resistant bottom. 19 with discount shipping. And if I say from the bins, that means the Goodwill Outlet store where I pay $1.69 per pound. Yeah. We say on average we're paying about $2 an item. So assume $2, but like a pair of these Crocs probably weighs like mm -hmm. 12 ounces or so. So. Yeah. Yeah. You can math the real math, but it's officially by weight, but we don't like yeah. to weigh each individual <laughs> item, so we just kind of average it out. And it's usually about two dollars average. Yeah. When you double average it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and these are also from the bin, so these are Johnson and Murphy. I've never sold a women's pair before. I don't think these. I just thought this was a cute sandal, like a braided wedge. Yeah. Really good shape. Um, they sold. I'd say in a month or two for twenty one forty six plus shipping. Not horrible. Nice. Sold on eBay. Okay, AI. Right over here. Oh, this was a cool little seal. I just listed this. This sold in a few days. Um, I never heard of the brand or anything, but when I'm at the bins, if something intrigues me, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. And I just felt like this was like a nice leather piece. I, I didn't that, know yeah. what it was. I think it was called like a. Well, it's a bracelet, but I feel like they called it something different. Like a bracelet. You'll probably maybe? see it on the screen what my title is. Mm. Um, but yeah. Like a bangle, not a bangle. Bangle, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I don't think that's what they call it oh. either. Anyways, the actual site that sells these <laughs> calls them something. Oh, uh, gotcha. Um, but yeah, they, they retail for like $58. I was seeing comps 20 to 30, so I think I listed mine at, I must have listed it at 30 because with our sale, it sold for $25.76 plus shipping. Wow. And this in the bins. This is like one ounce. Basically so, free. Yeah, basically yeah. free into 25 bucks. I love finding stuff like that. Yeah. So, something I had no idea about, but I was just like, this is leather. It's got to be worth something. It weighs hardly anything. All right. Another pair of Ionics. These ones have been sitting forever, probably well over a year at this point. I did pay $10 originally, and they finally sold for 19 with discount shipping on Posh. So, maybe a couple bucks profit there. Yeah. All right, BH. Another very low to no profit. I don't think I lost money on anything, but we got a lot of low profit things going out. Mm -hmm. um, this Johnny Cash shirt, it was from the bins. I think I bought it hoping Buy Sell Trade would take it, but they didn't. So I did list it pretty low and then sent an offer down to seven with discount shipping. So a couple dollars. Okay. All right, CG. Another pair of shoes that has been listed probably over two years on this pair. Wow. I don't know why. I like this <laughs> brand. I keep picking it up because I just think it looks nice. These are in great shape. It's Jack Wolfskin. Okay. I don't know. They were just like, the, they look like a really nice shoe. Yeah. Uh, but I paid $8.99 and yeah, over two years later, I finally got 17 with discount shipping. So Ooh. again, a couple bucks. <laughs> CD. So yeah, I'm probably only going to pick that up at the bins from now on, if anything. Yeah. You don't find it too often. Yeah, I don't think it's a super common brand. Earth. Easy 
Easy Spirit. I only got these because they were from the bins and they were real leather. I thought it was a good looking sandal, but they sold for 12 with discount shipping, which I think I was hoping 15 to 20, so 12 with discount. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making something. <laughs> Shoes are really easy for me to list, so even if I make five bucks, I'm pretty happy. All right, Carhartt F1. To fall out. All right, some Carhartt FR jeans from the bins. These have stains and maybe even a couple rips, but twenty-one forty-six plus shipping. Not too bad. King Box S. Those Brunswick girls' size bowling shoes. So from the bin, sold for twenty five seventy six plus shipping. That's pretty good for yeah. some kids' bowling shoes. Um, yeah. Someone asked me if I'd take like fifteen on those, like a week or two ago, and I sent them off, or they didn't buy them. So really, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bowling shoes. Not like a lot of money, but if you get no. them at the bins. Yeah, and I think an adult pair, you should get at least about thirty. They seem to sell pretty consistently. Yeah. Uh, it's just a basic Skechers slip on from the bins, sold for eighteen twenty four plus shipping. Box V. Another pair of Skechers from the bins, just like a bandana flip flop. That one just ten dollars plus ship. Still not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, A D. I know ten dollars sales are not for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're saying that your your sales and versus your profit for the month, you've done fairly well. Even though yeah. we've got some very low profit items here, when they yeah. pile up together, that's yeah. where you I'm get it. I'm so. reselling, what is it called, like the way I do it. Your master plan? Or <laughs> yeah, I guess. Your business plan? My business plan is just sell a bunch of things for any profit, <laughs> and it'll yeah. work itself out to be enough to pay our bills. That, that's my business plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, it works. Hey, it's worked for like five plus years now, so we're, we're yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, this one, I think I'm barely just breaking even. It's a Hatley little baby swimsuit. I had a ton of these to begin with, um, and most of them sold off. Uh, but I paid five dollars each. This one sold for eight plus shipping. So. Okay. Right. A S. I do think the point that we're trying to make there is it does not work for everybody. What? Just, just a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay. it, it, yeah. I, mean, I think it could. It's not necessary. It could no. work for everybody. Yeah. Don't but copy it our business plan unless you like just listing <laughs> a bunch of stuff, which I do. I mean, yeah. To me, I, I do. <laughs> so, um, this is a little jujube like pacifier pod is what they call it. I think pacifier pod. Oh. Little bag for your pacifier. <laughs> um, little baby purse. Yeah. Uh, this is from the bins. It sold for eight fifty two plus shipping. I believe that was on Mercari. So. Cool. Not too bad. That, yeah. You know, cost basically nothing. All right, we got a viewer sale going out to Becky. Thank you, Becky. So we're in, I think this is my transition because one's on this side, one's on that side. Mm. So, A. And then ET. Okay, we got Club Z Collection shirt. New a tag and then this Lego gearbox oh, yeah. kit. <laughs> you probably wanted to keep it. I did. <laughs> I would have I would have played with yeah. that. That's a little young, but uh, the kids would liked it. <laughs> so yeah, both these items are from the bins. Becky bought them on uh, $25 plus for the pair. So thank you so much, Becky. Awesome. Yeah, like I said, from the bins. Yeah. This one technically was only 69 cents, but we still average everything to about two bucks a piece yeah becky thank you so much yeah. for the support hope you enjoy <laughs> and have all the fun yeah. yeah sorry fo uh, these i bought at once upon a child the other day they are new at tag i did pay for these so i didn't use any sort of credit um so i did pay 13 for them but they sold within a week for 42.96 plus shipping not too bad what are you laughing about? <laughs> you said you did pay for them. And I'm well, I like, paid Wait, real money. Did you not pay for anything else? <laughs> we already I know, that. I know. It's I just funny. I hardly buy things that once upon a child with actual my own money yeah. these days. So. All right, FT. And if you don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> that is 
when Kathy goes to the bins, buys something and sells it to a buy sell trade store, right. that credit <laughs> that she gets to use to trade yeah. in, so like she considers it free. This is the girl math, <laughs> no, the girl, free, the reseller math, I guess I should say. Isn't that free <clears throat> other than my time? Wouldn't you consider that free after I get my initial cost of goods back? It's all free. I mean, I, I don't like to use the word free <laughs> personally because I was raised like the whole there's no such thing as a free lunch kind of thing. But uh, yeah. I'm not saying you can't. It just, I, that's why I'm smiling. The day I bought these, because you know how, I think when I got those yellow shoes, I wasn't doing my furniture fund yet, but when I got these yellow shoes, I was. So I did oh. like make a hundred bucks that day for once upon a job, but I was like, I'll just keep that cash. I'm going to buy this with my other reselling money. So. Yeah. <laughs> your, your other free yeah. money. <laughs> uh, so these Tiva shoes. Um, these have been listed a while. They didn't sell for a ton, $21.46 plus ship, but I bought them for $10.99, so not quite doubling. All right, DX. Oh, top careful. very end. Kuru, where you at? <laughs> I don't see them. Oh, no. <laughs> Is this a just the, they, they were staring you right in the face. <laughs> uh, these are cool. I think these are from my birthday bins haul. Uh, this is one of the few items I did add best offer on on eBay and got one of $25. Oh. So I accept it. I think it auto accepted because whenever I do allow best offer, I put a minimum so that I don't actually have to filter through all the offers because that right. stresses me out. Yeah. So, yeah, that one auto How many items did you do that best offer on? I don't think very many. Okay. And I think a few of them have sold off. On other platforms, other platform, so like okay. I listed them. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> do you think it was worth your time to do that I think that was that only the second thing I've ever gotten an offer on. Okay. Unless, I'm sure I got offers that just weren't under my money. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm just asking because I, I feel like eBay says that they kind of, it, you can increase your sales by doing yeah. best offer. I mean, you probably get an interview on accepting right. the offer. I don't know if that means that they help boost your sales or if it just means that, yeah, yeah of course you're going to get more sales because you're going to take less money for it. So I don't know. I don't know how they quantify it, but <laughs> I was just curious. Uh, these native shoes I got from the bin, sold them for twenty five twenty, but free ship on Kitizen and the shipping cost $5.85. So I'm probably making like $15 off those. Sweet. Yes. This is only my second time selling this brand. I've never really even heard of it. I just, well, these are from the bins. The brand is Savage T Tacticians, I think it is. Okay. Um, it doesn't retail for very much, but both items I've sold have sold really fast. So mm. it did have a lot of interest right away. These are just like a little shorty short men's running through it, like very short <laughs> ones. Um, 20 with discount shipping on Posh, but within like a day or two of being listed. So yeah. I think they only retail for like 35, so. Okay. Yeah, I think they were called... Bolo the Men's Shorty Shorts? <laughs> they were called on their website Silkies. Th Silkies? This specific short was called a Silky. <laughs> All right, EU. I don't know why I thought it was funny. <laughs> Kathy asked if I was interested in them. <laughs> what do you think I said? <laughs> I said, would you wear these? <laughs> Not like those actual ones. But would you wear that kind of a short? Uh, Ever? I, I mean, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I would try them. I mean, I looked on the website and they looked... Like cool shorts, yeah, for the models <laughs> on the website. I um, wish I could be a model for you, dear. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is I don't know how you say the brand, it's an anthropology brand. The way I'm saying it in my head is like Leaf's daughter or Dottie, Leaf, Dottie, maybe Leaf, Dottie Leaf, Leaf, yeah, yeah, one of those. You'll see it on the screen, but this came from the bin. It took a little bit to sell, but 17 16 plus shipping, okay. All right, GQ. Right. So I'm Under Armour, like Project Rock sneakers, bought for ten ninety nine, sold for twenty nine twenty one plus ship. Nice. I'm still laughing behind the camera. I'm there. just, I'm happy. I'm smiling. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> You're happy. I'm happy. <laughs> um, this is Eileen Fisher. From the bins, it is, I believe, 100% some sort of wool. Uh, it's a size extra small, though. So someone offered 27. I think they started at 20, and I declined, but then they came up to 27. So I accepted just based on that it was a smaller size. Yeah. If it was Eileen Fisher plus size, I probably would have been expecting at least like 40, maybe 50. But I thought that was an easy 
20 bucks profit for me pretty yeah. quickly. It's cool that they came up yeah. after you declined. <laughs> um, and then, of course, right after I declined, I was like, should I have even declined? I came from the bins. Like, you know, I'm <laughs> second guess yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to always be in the mindset of like, I should accept, right? Yeah. You came from the bins. But there are like certain things that I do need to make more than just five bucks off. Some yeah. Things, you know yeah. What I mean? All right, this is, you can't see it because it's already sealed up in here, but you'll see it on the screen. It's a Pottery Barn Kids Rainbow, like just throw pillow. Yeah. From the bins, so weighs hardly anything. It's over 31 with discount shipping, which is awesome. Sweet. Yeah. I thought this was going to be the the shipping hip spot. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> they did come out with the St. Patty's Day mailer like a couple days ago, so... Well, this video might not come out for weeks at yeah. this point. So whenever you see it, I'm sure they have that still, hopefully. And they have lots of other prints. Anyways, yeah. So. They always have cool, like, holiday-specific prints or season-specific prints. Yeah. And I it's... actually just... This is my... Like, I have so many of the 10 by 13s just because every time they do a new print, I buy some. But, like, the other day I had to order this size, which I think is, like, 14 by 19. Mm -hmm. That's, like, my favorite thing to get from them because it's just a really good size. Yeah. And I've been noticing a lot lately, like how we bought the boxes today. Yeah. Um, I've just been needing, because I'm doing more clothes since I'm at the bins. A lot of things are sweaters. They don't fit in that like 10 by 13. Mm -hmm. So I've been needing this size a lot. Which yeah. Is nice. Anyways, we have a code in <laughs> yeah. the description. All that to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Use code GINGER15 for 15% off. <laughs> and everything ships for free. Yeah, and they also have tiny, like very small, like you sell jewelry or other smaller things. Uh, these are just some basic Levi's denim shorts from the bins. Uh, sold for 20 with discount shipping. Okay, DY. This is a very low, if anything. This, end, this, this way. This way. This way. This is a little Carter's zip up jacket thing. I bought this for once upon a child. They did not accept it. One of the very few items that they did not accept. And I don't know anyone with a little girl this size, so I was like, I'll just list it. I got $8 with free shipping, so I'm making next to nothing, but I didn't lose money, <laughs> yeah. and it's going to someone who's going to use it, which is great. So yeah. $8 free ship, kit is in, the shipping label was four eighty five. dollars they take about 13% fee. Yeah. Um, all right. This was in our one of our recent hauls, the Forever 21 denim dress. I really thought that Buy Sell Trade would take this just based that it was new. Yeah. I didn't think it was a, I thought it was a decent style, like fairly modern. They didn't want it though. I went to like three different places. They didn't want it. So I sold it for $8.48 plus ship, which is not a lot, but it sold within a day or two. I priced it super low. Yeah. Because I have a pair of Forever 21 denim shorts that have been sitting, honestly, probably for three years now at like five bucks and nobody's bought them. So I was like, I really hope someone buys that. So do you think the brand is just stale Forever now? Forever 21 is just, it costs like nothing at the store. Okay. Basically, it's just so fast fashion. So okay. That was that dress. EB. Yeah, I would, if I didn't really think Play-Dohs would take that, I would have not have ever bought Yeah, and at eight bucks, I mean, you basically made five a little bucks. bit more than you would have got from them. Yeah. So. Um, these are from Once Upon a Child, not free. I paid $11 for them. <laughs> Nike, these are Air Force Ones, like a high top, blue suede. Yeah. Um, $11 into $35 with discount shipping. Awesome. Right, free, not free. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> all right, this is just in all that for this old navy t-shirt. <laughs> uh, this I actually bought for myself. I just never wore it, so I listed it. I paid for it $3.99 at Goodwill. I sold it for $8.56 plus shipping, so a couple dollars profit there. Uh, GQ. Probably, yeah. yeah. Um, Uh, these are some towels, like a Mary Jane. I feel like, that's funny, these have been listed a while. I delisted them, relisted them, and they sold within a day. I think I dropped price $5, but I paid $10.99. They sold for $25.76 plus ship. I was gonna say, I think Mary Janes are like um, coming back around, I don't know. Really? So, not that these are like the kind that are maybe coming yeah. back around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that could be like a, a, an elite reseller <laughs> hack. What? If something's not selling, just keep it for years <laughs> yeah. until it comes back in style. 
Luckily, that was probably the only mistake. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm just tricking you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, this is a J. Crew men's like Hawaiian type shirt. Uh, they did not accept this at the buy sell trade stores, so I listed it. It sold in a couple days for seventeen sixteen plus ship. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, e B. This is Free People Beach Line. It's missing a size tag, so I took this to the buy sell trades, but they didn't take it. I'm pretty sure because it's missing its size. Mm. So I sold it for twelve eighty six plus shipping, which is okay. Yeah, not too bad. All right, G P. Mm. Something I love finding at the bins, as long as they're in good shape as hats, especially beanies, they're just the easiest listings. This didn't sell for a ton, but sold for 10 with discount shipping. St. Louis Blues, is that hockey or? I think, uh, I think so, because it looks like a hockey stick right there, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yay. That's a guess. <laughs> I'm making five bucks. I'm happy. All right, HC. Um, this I almost didn't get because it's in really bad shape, but it's it's Nike, like a women's center crop. Swoosh. It is center swoosh, yeah. That's the reason I grabbed it, but it has, I washed it and I didn't get it out. Some it spots. has like a big stain here. It's pretty much faded all the way throughout. The sleeves, I think, have some paint on them. Mm. It's still sold. It had a ton of interest. It's still sold for 23 with discount shipping in just a couple days, so. Yeah. I'm glad I grabbed it. I wonder if somebody's going to, like, bleach it or, or like, do... Yeah, I was thinking they might do something Some like that. Some kind of crap That'd with be pretty it. cool. Yeah, I yeah. think people do like those kind of worn-in. I actually bought that because I was going to... I tried it on. I, th I thought it looked ridiculous, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not cool like Did that. it flash you back <laughs> to the 90s? <laughs> it just... It was, like, so wide, but then, like, so short. Like, yeah. I know that's what cropped is, but... I just don't see it. Where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> she took the elevator. She'll be back in a minute. No. Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, this is a bundle, actually. I'll just show you one at a time. So these are Flofers, which I... That's the brand. Yeah, I just learned this brand over the summer, which these did not do well. I found only one other pair. That, that one was like a tropical print. Those ones sold fairly quickly. These ones did not. Okay. So we got those and then EY. Flofers. Yeah. <laughs> Are they like floating loafers? So, yeah, I don't know. like boat shoe loafers. Boat shoes. Um, these are some Crocs tie dye, but with the slip resistant. So these I bought each at a regular Goodwill for seven ninety nine each. So I have sixteen dollars into this. Someone offered thirty for the bundle, and I accepted because, well, first off, I was sending like fifty percent offers on some stuff yesterday, which I'm pretty sure this person got, and then just bundled them and offered basically the same minus like two more dollars. Mm -hmm. So I just accepted, but. Yeah, I'm not losing money, so I make 24. I'm still making seven or eight bucks off the bundle, which is not great, but they've unlisted both long enough to move them at that price. Yeah. All right, DV. This was a pretty big sale. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this brand. Um, it's like... I can't even read it. <laughs> it's like Gun, Gundrun, Gundrun. Gundren. Shojin. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I actually found two of these this day at the bins. Um, one of them sold the first day I listed it before I even like put measurements in. Um, that one I think I accepted a $40 offer on. This one, uh, 39 with discount shipping on Posh. So. Nice. Two bins dresses into like 80 bucks is pretty cool. Yeah. And I like how you said you were not going to try to pronounce it, and then you did. <laughs> no. Now we got to find out if I did it even anywhere close to right. All right, GW. This one, I'm glad it's old, but also I'm a little sad. Remember this? The snake skin wrap thing? This got, oh yeah, yeah. Well, so when I went to list this, there was like none listed anywhere. And the only solds I saw, even pre-owned, were like 60 to 80. Yeah. I think I even saw one for like close to 100. So I priced mine super high, because at the time it was like the only one available. But it's been months at this point. Mm -hmm. So someone this weekend said, would I take 40? And I rechecked comps and there was a couple solds around 60 or stuff still, but those were like new. So. Yeah. And there so was kind still of not out. much listed, but I just took 40 because this did come from the bin too. Yeah. It's at least $30 profit. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, Cabby's not, I mean, I know Cabby retails for a lot. Some pieces people I think are always looking for, but it's not a brand I like that much, mm -hmm. so... Lastly, these have been listed a while, so I'm glad these actually sold for a good amount still. It's J. Crew Collection, which I think is a more 
a nicer J. Crew line. Okay. Anyways, I paid $7.50 probably over a year ago for them. They sold for $39 with discount shipping, so not too bad. Yeah. So, and that was it. Little weekend. And we, we did get the one that came in already, yeah, right? So see. I don't see that any others have come in. So awesome. So, yeah, Kathy's got all this. She's going to pack up all by herself when we get home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably going to help a little, bit, but, a little bit. Behind. But, yeah, we do have to head out, head home, get the kids, and then hopefully get the stuff to the post office before they close. Yeah. And Gotta then we'll close. we'll do it all again <laughs> on another day. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, I had fun. Did you have fun today? Yeah. We, had, we got lunch today. That was nice. <laughs> nice to get out and, and get lunch together. We don't do that too, too often without the kids. So... Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.